Jeannie and John Alcott welcome you to Word of Power broadcast today. This message can equip and empower you to achieve and receive what God has for you. We believe by the end of this teaching and time of prayer, you will feel the power of God in a greater way. You'll sense how near He is and how He desires to help you. As God's presence and anointing touches you, receive the miracles and answers waiting for you. We encourage you to contact us at the end of this broadcast. Jeannie and John are ready to pray in faith over your life. Now, receive a word of power. It's so good to be together in God's Word. Thank you for joining me. This is Jeannie Alcott. You know how it is to have days where you feel as if you just lost your zip. I mean, you just don't have the energy or vitality to go. You have no zeal. Your enthusiasm is out the door. Well, it's on those days that you need some new fire from God. You need His Spirit to spark a flame within you to get you going, to increase your hope and expectation of the good that's coming. That helps to give you zeal to go on. Romans chapter 12 tells us not to set aside our zeal and earnest endeavor, but we are to burn with the Spirit, serving God. The Spirit of God in you can cause you to burn with enthusiasm and passion and eagerness, even when your body and emotions don't feel up to it. And that's because you rely on the Spirit and the new fire that He gives you each day to serve God and see those desires He's designed for you to be fulfilled. Now, you may not feel as if you're moving fast in your life, but the fire of God can keep you racing. He can keep you in the race so you can win the victory. Because of Him, you can have the zeal. You see, the ones who win victories in their lives aren't the ones who always feel full of ready-to-go type energy. You know who they are? It's those who depend on the Spirit within them to give them that burning zeal to keep going in spite of how they feel. There's a special man who really understands this kind of zeal, and he used it to accomplish what he felt was his destiny for life. Without that zeal and faith, and as he says, angels protecting him, he never could have fulfilled his heart's desires. I'm talking about Mario Andretti, who is one of the most successful drivers in history of motorsports. He's been described as the most talented at being the fastest. He has set all kinds of records in the number of races he has won. Mario became the first driver to win IndyCar races in four different decades, so his name is well known. Although John still laughs at me to this day because before I knew about the career of Mario Andretti, one day I called him Andrio Moretti. So that's the nickname we have given him. But he has become so famous that just about everybody knows how successful he has been. He drove in over 900 races, and he once said that when he got to heaven, he was going to have a lot of angels to thank for watching over him and keeping him safe. So you can imagine how that to accomplish all he did took some zeal. He had to have new fire burning in him to keep going to that racetrack and practicing and concentrating and training and then to make the race. But that's what's important, to make the race. We must make the spiritual race in our life if we want to accomplish what God has put in us. One day when Mario was being interviewed and he was asked the question, what makes a talented race car driver? Is it fearlessness, reaction, judgment, or strategy? His answer was, all of the above. And then he added this, plus burning desire and confidence. If you want something so much, you have a burning desire to do it. Then you aren't distracted by fear or risk or anything else. Oh, that the body of Christ would have that kind of burning desire to accomplish God's will. That we would have so much zeal from the fire of God that burns in us that we could not be distracted by fear or risk or anything else. We get out on that racetrack of life and we allow the Spirit of God to burn within us. So we have the zeal to accomplish what He desires. And what does God desire? For people to come to Him and serve Him. For you to be well and whole. For you to prosper and have your needs met and grow in the fruit of the Spirit, and show others the same. God has so many desires for your life, for you to experience His favor and promotion and restoration, for you to walk in the will of God and see the abundant life of blessing that He's prepared. He wants you to have new fire burning in you that gives you the zeal to get out on that racetrack and keep racing until you experience the accomplishment and miracles and spiritual growth He has for you. 
Have some zeal. Ask the Spirit to burn within you so that you can rise up even on the hard days and see God move in your life. Zeal is what can cause us to accomplish things that seem so hard and impossible. Without it, we become down and discouraged, and that takes our energy away, our physical, mental, and spiritual energy. Without those, we aren't going to see much happen that we desire. So, let's see an example of this in the Bible. There are some men that Jesus gave us as an example of people who have great zeal. When he was naming his disciples who would be near him much of the time and follow his path, among those were James and John. They were also the ones that he chose to be by his side at certain special times. In one story, they and Peter were the disciples he had by his side when he was raising the child of the synagogue ruler from death. They were also the ones who witnessed the transfiguration on the mountain. James and John had such special zeal that Jesus dubbed them the sons of thunder. In fact, sometimes they were so zealous that he had to rein them back. In one story, when the people of Samaria refused to receive Jesus on his journey, James and John are the ones who suggested a way of dealing with them. They said, Master, do you want us to call down fire from heaven and burn them all up? They had zeal for Jesus to be able to accomplish the will of the Father. So when these people wouldn't cooperate, they just wanted to burn them up with the fire of God. He had to calm them down and make them realize that wasn't how they were supposed to use their zeal. They began to realize that the fire burning within them was a spiritual fire to see God's work done on this earth and to serve their master. So when Jesus came to the hardest time he would ever experience before the cross, when he was praying in the Garden of Gethsemane, he took those men, James and John. Why? Because they had witnessed some of his greatest miracles, but they had also stood by him in the hardest hours. Like Mario and Reddy, they were willing to enter the race with Christ the race for the salvation of humankind. They weren't distracted by fear or risk or anything else. They had the kind of zeal that was needed to carry on the work of Christ once he was gone from earth. They were chosen. And the Master has chosen you. He knows that you can have the zeal to carry on his work, to experience some of his greatest miracles, to see what he can do for you and for others. You will believe his word even in the most difficult hours. You have that burning desire that's created by the fire he's placed within you. You won't be distracted by fear or risk or anything else. You're in the race so that you can see his divine will done. That zeal creates enthusiasm in you that gives you the ability to endure and persevere. It gives you excitement to go on and see God work. The word enthusiasm actually comes from the Greek word entheos, which means God within. You have God within, His mighty power, and He gives you in theos, that enthusiasm, that zeal, not just so you can trudge in life, but so you can race. You can get in the race and win. You can see His will done in every way. Feel yourself starting to burn with the zeal of God. You're receiving new fire. Let's pray right now. His power, His presence, and His anointing are so real right now. Oh God, fill us full of your zeal. We don't want to just make it. We want to get into the race, the spiritual race of seeing your work done in our lives and for others. So by your power, we push aside fear. We push aside distractions. We push aside anything that would try to stop us from moving into what you have for us. So I'm in a faith agreement with my friend at this moment for them to see fulfilled what you've put in their heart. They have a burning desire for it, God. They've gone so much time without seeing it done. But now they are on the fast track. You're saying that you're going to take them into a place where they will see the events move faster. Your power is entering in to make a difference. What has been lagging in their life will now be supercharged. The zeal of the master is burning and you will cause them to enter into that greater victory. They're in the race. They have God within, and now they're going to see what you will manifest before their very eyes. How we praise you for what you're about to make happen. In the name of Jesus, amen. Praise the name of Jesus. The power of the Master is moving. He's creating a burning in you that will help you go into what He has for you, to receive and accomplish. Don't worry about not having zeal. You have God within. 
So you're going to have all of it that you need. And He has called us to be here by your side in faith. Just imagine how powerful it is when our spirits come together and pray in agreement. According to God's Word, as we do that, what we ask in faith will be done. So get in touch right away and tell us what you want to see accomplished. We're going to pray and intercede. Then we'll send you some words that will be written by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. So get in touch soon. Now, here's a wonderful word that I want to give to a dear person. God is ready to give you the promise of eternal life in heaven. And He has such good plans for you now. You can receive all of it when you accept Jesus Christ as your Savior. So my husband John is coming now to show you how you can do this. Thank you, Jeannie. Oh, precious listener, have you come to the place in your spiritual life where you know for certain if you died tonight, you would go to heaven and have eternal life? The Bible says, All who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. It also says he removes our sin as far as the east is from the west. Picture him just reaching out his arms to you right now, and he's offering you the free gift of eternal life. If you will but receive him, he paid that penalty for your sins and purchased that place in heaven for you. He's offering it to you now. And you can just receive him by praying these words after me from your heart to God. Say, Father God, I believe in your son Jesus that he paid the penalty for my sins and purchased a place in heaven for me. I receive you now. Forgive my sins. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh, we are so happy for what you just did. You have eternal life. You have good plans from God. So be sure to read his word, pray, talk to him, and keep hearing these messages and go to a Bible-based church. Also, we encourage you to get in contact with us. We want to pray for you and send you some materials to minister to you. So let us hear from you right away. All right, here's our spiritual power line. Go around saying these words of faith. It will help create that zeal of God in you. Go around saying, I receive new fire from God. I receive new fire from God. Now, to help you get that new fire and have the zeal of God you want in your life, Be sure to get this message. We'll send you all five parts of it and the prayer times. The name of it is Receive New Fire. It's offer number AM820. That's 820. You can have a CD of it for a gift of $8 into the ministry. Or you can download it from our website for a gift of $5. Just call or write or go to alcottministries.org. That's A-L-C-O-T-T Ministries dot O-R-G. Now, one final word that's very important. Be sure you have our recent power packet. We are having a day of Pentecost on May 19. In that package, we have a prayer sheet. When you fill it out and you send it to us, on the day of Pentecost, John and I are going to take communion in our home and pray over you. We want to see the power of the Holy Spirit fall on you anew. So request the power packet. It's our gift to you. I look so forward to being with you on Friday in God's presence and His anointing. This is Jeannie Alcott. God bless you. Thank you for being with us today. We believe God's Spirit is moving in a mighty way. So don't miss the opportunity for Jeannie and John to pray over your life in a personal way. As you share with them, they will intercede by faith for you to receive all God has for you. Call 918-459-9191 or write to Alcott Ministries, Post Office Box 3400, Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, 74013. Or go to our website at alcottministries.org. That's A-L-C-O-T-T ministries.org. There you can also listen to Word of Power broadcasts, as well as request special gift offers and be blessed by devotionals. Now, we encourage you to get a copy of this message and give a gift into God's work. Then expect Him to grow your giving into wonderful miracles. Be with us next time for a word of power.